girlfriends and welcome back to my channel. I am very, very excited about this video. This is my second attempt at a wash and go and I must say I have fallen in love. In this video I will be showing you all how I achieved my wash and go style using the Crystal Orchid Biotene Infused Styling Gel from The Main Choice. I did my left side off camera so let's jump right into the right side. Because I did my left side first, my right side dried out a little bit so I'm going to add moisture back to my hair with just some simple H2O in a spray bottle. I found out with my type of hair that working with completely soaking wet hair on your wash and go will give you the ultimate definition. Once my hair is completely soaking wet, I add the Silk and Shine Leave-In Conditioner from The Main Choice. The next step is to add the Crystal Orchid Biotene Infused Styling Jelly. Even though this styling gel has a strong, flowery smell, the smell isn't overwhelming once you apply it to your hair. I portion my hair into smaller sections and clip away the portion that I'm not using at the moment. I'm going to use my Denman brush to detangle my ends before adding the styling gel to my hair. Curl friends, please make sure when you're detangling, especially on wet hair, that you are detangling from the ends to your roots. When using the styling gel, you want to start off with a generous amount and apply it to the ends of your hair first and then work your way up towards the root. Once you've gotten your desired amount of styling gel into your hair, start to finger through your hair and separate into small sections, aka shingling, thoroughly working the product on every strand. speed it up a little bit but still showing you the method and the routine that I do to create that bomb definition completed work. Please know that wash and goes for 4C girls are not wash and just go. You got to put in some elbow grease. Just so I can stick with the line I'm going to apply the main cho choice growth oil. Adding oil to your hair after adding the styling gel will minimize the crunchiness and minimize the white flakes. <laughs> I will be using a diffuser to help dry my hair I'm going to use the main choice the natural shine polishing mist 
Um, it has joba joba oil and safflower seed oil. And it is a heat protectant. This is the finished look and my hair is about 70% dry and I can tell you right now this is by far my favorite out of the two wash and goes. Now I already know y'all gonna ask me how I preserve my wash and go so I'm going to let you guys in on my nighttime and morning time routine. Add a little bit of oil to your hair, not a lot. Um, just rub it in your palms and squeeze it into your hair, the ends and the inside, and um, massaging your scalp, of course. I like to use a satin bonnet instead of a satin scarf because the bonnet, I feel, gives my definition and curls more room to not flatten. So um, yeah, get you, a, get you a satin bonnet. It's morning. We slept the night away. Nah, but y'all see that the bonnet actually preserved my definition and my coils. I apologize now about the blurriness of the camera. It was still early in the morning and I didn't even think to focus the camera. But y'all okay because y'all still love me. There's literally nothing that you can do about your coils and your definition flattening out if you go to sleep. I find that just lifting my root with the roots with a wide tooth comb or using my fingers just to pull my, co my coils back out helps out with the shape of my wash and go. With this styling gel, like most, I did find a little bit of flakiness, white flakes, but they weren't unbearable. So this product definitely gets a four star from me. Thank you for watching and I hope you all found this video very informative. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you really liked it, go ahead and press that subscribe button. See you, girlfriends.